We're going to make Ping Wei San the traditional way. Ping Wei San is stomach calming powder. And so it's a powder you can have on hand if you have some kind of digestive upset, um, certain types of digestive upset, then it's ready to go. It won't take long to cook. Um, I hope you saw the other video about Xiaoyao San um, because a lot of this stuff is the same and I don't really need to repeat myself for it. Um, the powder is already made. Uh, the dose is Tu Qian, which at the time this formula was written would be about 7.5 grams. So we're going to measure it out. But as I said before, once you kind of have an idea of what does it weigh, like if it's a heaping spoon like this, then you just don't have to measure it every time. You can just take a heaping spoon. That's 5.6, and I want 7.5. So um, I think my cat wants to help. Sometimes, yeah, 7.3, a little bit more, a little bit more. That should do it. Oh, 8.1. Okay, that's close enough. Whatever it is right now, uh, 7.6, 7.7, uh, that's fine. So um, this powder is a fine powder. It's um, Shariyosan was coarsely ground, so the way it's made is a little bit different. Um, and it smells good. Sangju really smells good, if you ask me. Um, so I have a little pot, because we're only making one dose at a time, and it wants you to put in the powder. Okay, it wants you to put in two dots out but these are really big these are like the size of two so i'm just putting one in oops um you can kind of break it open a little bit or if i had a knife right here i'd cut it open so that you know some of the water can get in more easily and it wanted two slices of ginger but this is kind of a small piece of ginger so i have three slices Besides that, the other ingredient is, in Chinese, it's this word dan, which means, um, if you look it up in the dictionary, it says it's some kind of small cup. It's not a measuring cup. Um, and I really have no idea what a Chinese dan size is, but it's a single portion and it's on the small side. So I'm using this cup of filtered water and I'm going to add that in. And then I'll give it a little stir. And it's supposed to be cooked down to 70%. So I'm going to notice how deep this is in the pan. And I'm going to take it over to the stove. Mm, I don't know if you can see it very well. It depends on the light. Anyway, I'm going to take it over to the stove and simmer it till it cooks down a bit. And so I'll meet you over at the stove. Okay, ready to cook it a little bit. So I'm going to turn on the heat and adjust it a little bit. And now I just have to wait for it to simmer and cook. So you don't need to hang around watching it boil. So I'll be back in a minute or two. Okay, it's simmering away now. I don't think you can see it even if I try and turn the pot, I'm not sure, but it's really, yeah, there you can see a little bit of the boiling action simmering away. So it won't be long now till it's down to about 70% of what it was. Okay, it's done boiling. It's down to maybe 70%. The first thing I'm going to do is fish out the datsao and the ginger slices. See, there should be one more ginger slice in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we can put that over there. And then the thing about powders, ground up herbs that are finely ground and, and boiled this way, is the directions in the old books tell you to drink it without straining it. So I'm going to pour everything else, the powder and the liquid, and 
that's just to be drunk like that. Well, it's too hot right now. I'll come back and taste it when it's a little cooler and give it a stir. But I'll tell you the truth, I'm not really excited about drinking the powder along with the herbs. It has a chalky texture in your mouth. It's not that it makes it taste worse, but the mouth texture is not so good. Since this is finely ground, though, it's not like going to like give splinters to your mouth or anything. The coarsely ground stuff, you would not want to drink it along with the liquid. So if I'm using this kind of formula while you're supposed to drink the grounds, the you know, the dregs, what I might do is either let it settle and just drink the top part, or the other thing I might do is actually strain it through cheesecloth or a coffee filter or something like that. So I'll be back in a minute to give it a taste test. Well, the time is here for me to drink it. Um, I have drunk this formula before and it does have a bit of a bitter taste. So just in case I need it, I have a little cookie. Don't tell anyone. I'm going to give it a little stir. Okay. And here goes. Still pretty warm. Yeah, it's kind of chalky texture, a little bitter, but it's bearable. I don't know. There you can see it's kind of like coffee colored as if the coffee has a small amount of milk in it. So anyway, that's um, Ping Wei San. Um, and as I said, really, I would tend to let the powder settle out and just drink the liquid on top. But I wanted to tell you the traditional way. So this is how ancient people used powders. They're just ready to go. This is another formula that you wouldn't be taking twice a day regularly. You'd be taking it as needed. And so it's actually pretty quick just to, you know, simmer it for a few minutes and then drink it. And then your stomach will feel better. That's it.